Welcome back to the Black Jersey, guys. Just a reminder, our website is now live, and I've got an article version of this season preview. Please visit the website in the description if you're ever keen to read my article version of the season preview we're doing today on the Highlanders. The previous video was on the Crusaders, and now we've got the Highlanders up today. The Highlanders impressed me a lot last season. They've got a lot of good players coming on in. I can't wait to see how they go this year. Man, they are looking so impressive. The big talking point is um, Jermaine Ainsley. Despite being a former Wallaby, he actually had a pretty solid season in the NPC for Otago, and so he's coming back from injury. He's going to debut for them this year. Siati Tokalahi, who's out to Pau in France, is being replaced by a young fella. I think his outstanding... Standing promise coming through. Saola Ma'u is a monster at scrum time. I'm very excited by this guy, and I'm not just being nice to him because he follows on Instagram. I think he's very promising. Luca Inch is coming in as short-term cover for Ethan DeGroote as well. So congratulations to Luca Inch coming in from Tasman. Ash Dixon, the long-term stalwart, has gone to Japan, and so he's being replaced by Andrew Makaleo, who's coming in from the Crusaders. Ricky Jackson, a youngster who I thought had a lot of promise, um, didn't really get much opportunity with the Highlanders previously, and he's now out of a Super Rugby contract because Reese Marshall has come back from Munster after playing 81 games for them. Uh, Marshall is also, funnily enough, um, related to Geordie Barrett, Geordie's um, girlfriend is his sister. Jack Regan, who came in last year as a short-term deal, has gone to the Ospreys in Wales, and he's being replaced by Sam Keard, who is a former Blue. He plays for Northland now, and he's returning from Australia, playing for Super Rugby in the Waratahs setup. Um, quite a few changes in the loose forwards, guys. So firstly, uh, Liam Squire has retired. Thank you to Liam for his contributions to the Black Jersey. Um, Sione Messi Loy, who did not play at all last year, has returns to Southland, which must be quite gutting for him. Um, that's been the result of um, Hugh Renson coming on and getting a lot of game time, and he's been rewarded with a full contract for this year. Um, Kazuki Himeno has returns to Toyota Verblitz in Japan, and Te Ariki Ben Nicholas has gone to Castries in France. Gareth Evans, after spending a few years with Hurricanes, has returned. Uh, Max Hicks, who I think is quite a promising player, he can, he can cover, um, sorry, lock and flanker, um, he's joined the team. Um, Christian, Leo, Willie, and Sam Fishley from Otago are coming in as our short-term cover for a couple of the Lucys. And Sean Withy, who I think is a future All Black, is coming on in to be an open side, training in the wings. I think he's got a very promising future ahead of him. The loose forwards are looking stacked just like normal. They've got like over 10 or something loose forwards. Um, I've got it up on the screen so you can see how many they got. Um, the Highlanders haven't really changed too much with the uh, halfback setup. Filau Fakatava will be arriving in the season a little bit late though, so Nathan Hasty and James R. Scott, both from Otago, are just going to hang around in there as injury cover for him. Um, something very dodgy though, totally unacceptable I think what's going on here is the lack of first fives that the uh, Highlanders have got for this year. Josh Ioane's gone off and escaped to the Chiefs, Yes. Um, and Caleb Makini has gone to the Utah Warriors in Major League Rugby, whereas Tim O'Malley, who came in as short-term cover, has moved to Italy. So Marty Banks, returning from Japan, is going to be the only backup we've got for Mitch Hunt and the Highlanders. Um, really disappointing for me, I think. Um, not too much has changed with the centers. It's just been Michael Collins moving to the Ospreys, and so they've converted Scott Gregory into a 12. Um, I prefer Gregory at 12 far, far more than I do at fullback. Then with the outside backs, um, Josh Morby, who came in as cover, has gone to the Hurricanes. Freedom Vahakolo has returned to Otago after getting injured. Um, we've then got a couple new guys, Mo Sisi Dawai and Vereniki 
Tiko Solomoni have both come in. Sorry if I didn't pronounce the names correctly. Um, they're very exciting players, the both of them. I think they're going to have very, very good seasons. Darwise coming in from Waikato, and uh, Tiko Solomoni is coming in from Taranaki. Outstanding wingers, the both of them. Um, Nikki Milner Scudder um, is out of the squad as well to go as the hu- um, to the Hurricanes rather as just some short term cover. Whereas Connor Garden Bishop is coming back from injury. That's going to be very very good to see. And Solomon Alo Milo. I'm um, very proud of Solomon Alai Milo rather for um, getting over his struggles with depression that kept him out for last season. Very brave man to come publicly about that. Anyway, the big part of this video is I'm going to have a bit of a guess of who's the starting 15 going to be in the first game of the 2022 season this year. Um, I think Ethan DeGroote will obviously continue on as the first choice number one. Um, I think Liam Coltman as the clear ahead first choice hooker now is going to be the co-captain with Aaron Smith, who's in at nine, of course. Um, that was pretty obvious, that one. Um, Germain Ainsley will take over as the number three, whereas I think Saul Ma'u is going to provide some really good cover for him off the bench. Um, I think the starting locking combo is going to be Bryn Evans and Josh Dixon as um, Paddy Paddy Parkinson is out for the season with injury. Um, Shannon Frizzell will be the six, of course. Billy Harmon will possibly remain as the seven once he comes back from injury. Until he recovers from injury, we could possibly see a bit of James Lynchus on the starting lineup. Uh, Marino Mekieli too, I think, is going to come back from injury, be a really good number eight. And um, I do believe that with the loose forward setup in the All Blacks currently going on, Mekieli too, and as an All Black over for Shannon Frizzell, will be the only change the All Blacks make to the loose forwards barring injury. So yeah, Smith as the uh, co-captain rather, as I said at 9, Mitch Hunt will be the 10, that's kind of obvious. Um, I think Solomon Alomalo might indeed stay away from fullback though. I think we're going to see a bit of Alomalo in the number 11 jersey, where he thrived quite a fair bit for the Chiefs. Um, and at number 12, I want to see Scott Gregory continue because, frankly, when he was at fullback in the past, he just had complete shockers um, on defense, whereas at 12, it really gives him the chance to um, unleash his passing and kicking skills, whereas he's also got some good pace to complement those abilities. Um, Fatuli Pyre, who's also coming back from injury, I think could be quite a good partner in the midfield for Gregory because he's a bit more of a power runner and that'll be great to see him back in a Tongan jersey, of course. Um, Connor Garden Bishop, I think, will also come back from injury into the starting lineup in the 14 jersey and I can't wait to see more of Sam Gilbert in the number 15 jersey. Gilbert was class for Otago in the MPC. I think he's going to have a standout season too. The Highlanders have got a very, very good-looking squad. Could they potentially be the winners of Super Rugby Pacific in its inaugural season this year? You let me know in the comments. Remember to leave these other things in the comments as well. Leave how much you enjoyed this video and how much you liked the article version of this video. As I said, we are present on Instagram, Discord, I have a Patreon and Subscribestar, and you guys are welcome to like the video, comment once more, comment as many times as you can, subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't ever miss a new video, and I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. It's a pleasure. Your boy Max is signing out.